friends welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing another renovation video i've really been loving doing these videos lately and today we're doing this house behind me which is the classic family home which is quite a big plot it's one of the bigger houses it's the step down from the small suburban which was the first renovation video i did in this series um, and i feel like i could really do something different with it i want to make it look very different to the other houses that I've done because I feel like they all look kind of the same I kind of go for the same style with them so I do want to kind of make this one a little bit different to those but as you can see there's lots of like plants and flowers and stuff that come with this house I probably will delete some of these because there just seems to be too many it's kind of messy and there's this really weirdly placed door here like why would you put the garden door there I don't know so I'll definitely move that but this house costs um 75,000 for the plot but how much is it valued at it's valued at 47,000 so that's kind of um I don't know it's not really worth the money it's like over 25,000 less am I right yeah like over 25,000 less wait what was that what is that light? <laughs> what is this light here for? That is like the weirdest place light I've ever seen. Was that like a mistake? That's so strange. But this is the outside of the house. It's kind of plain. The windows are really weirdly placed so I'll probably have to move them around a bit. But I do feel like there's a lot I could really do with this house to improve it. There's a really cute little flower garden out here as well. I like that feature. Um, so this is the house where you come in. You've got the little entrance way here which I feel like I could do something nice with. I could add a few more plants um, and just kind of dress up this area a bit. Like I don't really normally have like a full-on hallway but really weird thing is like a lot of these rooms have light switches but no lights in them. So like there's light switches and they just don't work which is really weird and um, this is the living room area it's kind of empty i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with that piano um, and then this is the really annoying bit over here there's only one bedroom in this house yet it's called the classic family home like how does that work out if it's a classic family home there should be at least two bedrooms so you can have like a child or someone else that's in the family um, it's just very strange uh, I'm not 100% happy with this layout so I feel like I'm going to do a lot to change this house. This area is like the kitchen diner which I feel like I'll move the living room into here so it's like an open plan kitchen living room area and then I'll completely change the other side of the house to have more bedrooms in it so we can have like a few kids bedrooms. This is that weird door again that leads outside um, and then over here this kind of leads to a garage area this really weird little room here that i don't know if i'll get rid of it yet i'm not sure um but this house is very strange i feel like i've got a lot to do with it to get it to improve but i'm quite excited to see what we can do with this house so let's head into build mode and have a look see if we can improve this house <music>
So I've just finished renovating this build and I think it might be the nicest renovation I've ever done on this channel. I'm super happy with how this turned out and I feel like you guys are really going to love the outcome of this build. So here is the outside of the new classic family home. Um, I went for some different colours to what I usually use. So I went for like this kind of light coloured concrete and then these grey like stone textures and I really like how this looks actually. And I also added some shutters to all of the windows just to kind of dress them up a bit. And I kind of rearranged the windows a bit to make them look a little nicer because they were kind of placed really awkwardly like really randomly placed around the build so I wanted to change this up a bit. I kept some of the plants that were scattered around here in this like little flower garden with a fountain and I feel like that's a really cute little detail and I did all like the striped grass that I always do on build and I'm just super happy with how this looks from the front. Um, I don't know if I have to go around and show you the garden before no, actually, I'll go inside and then I'll show you the garden after because there's not much in there. So if it gets dark, it's not too much of a worry. Um, but if you come inside here, oh, I didn't paint these plants. Um, I was going to paint these, but they're fine yellow, I guess. But this is like the little entrance way here. I've not really changed any of the walls outside. I've just moved windows and repainted stuff. Added a couple of new windows, so I added this little one here. And I just really like how the whole outside looks. If you come inside, we have the hallway still here. Now, this house is probably the one that I've made the most changes to when renovating um, it now costs 113,000 before it was like 47,000 so I've more than doubled the price of this house but I feel like it's totally worth it with when you see like the inside because I do feel like this is a really pretty house but this is the entrance way that I've dressed up a bit this picture frame was here before I've just added a picture to it and put some lights around for decor um, this was here before so I've just changed the colour of it this hat stand were here and some of the plants were here and I've just added a few more plants and I changed the bookshelves a bit so I think the bookshelves were on this back wall before where I've added a back door and some windows um, I changed them around a bit and put like counters at the bottom because I feel like these look nicer like it makes it look like a nice display cabinet um, but if we come out here this is just a little back garden that I added and I feel like it looks quite nice there's not really anything I've put in here but I do think it's a nice little decent garden because there was no garden with this house which is really strange because I feel like the first starter house has a garden and a lot of the other ones don't for some reason but this is my probably my favourite part of the house so this is the um, kitchen, living room, dining area so as you'll see once we get over here I've got rid of the living room that was over there and I've moved into here now we have a kitchen, living room, dining area so very like open plan room I really love how it looks I feel like I'm gonna get smelly so I'm just gonna brush my teeth in the kitchen um, but this is the kitchen area this was inspired by French roses like the whole colour scheme I got like from idea her I saw that she did like a blush house recently and I really have been meaning to try some new colour schemes I feel like I've been doing a lot of the same kind of spring colour theme which I do really love that colour scheme I'm saying that word way too much um, I do really love that colour scheme but I feel like I needed to try something different so I decided to do this kind of blush house which I was inspired by her for and I saw this picture of a kitchen that she did on one of her newest builds and really loved it and that's where I got the idea from so I got some inspiration from there it doesn't look exactly like hers but I did take some inspiration from the colours from that and I really love how it looked and these lights as well I saw her use and I really loved them like when they're in three like this I feel like they look super classy, super nice but this is the kitchen area i kind of gone for like blush and then added this kind of like gold tone so this colour is actually called cashmere and I've used it on the taps, I've used it on the oven hood um, I've used it quite a few times throughout the house you'll see it later once we get to like the bedrooms and stuff but this is the kitchen I think it's a super adorable kitchen I'm really happy with how this looks I love that I've got this pillar here I feel like it really just ties this space together it looks super nice and we have the dining room here well the dining table here this is the same table I've just repainted it and I've repainted the chairs um, added a few more details onto the table so I've added some candles some flowers and this was one of the big paintings that came with the house so I put a nice decal in here most of these decals I've used are by the youtuber like Arzia Arzia I don't know how to pronounce her username um, she's quite a big youtuber I'll link her down below in the description but she has some really nice decals in her inventory so I use a lot of her decals in this house um, so this is a living room area here which I think looks super cute as well it's just a super like cosy little living room area I just feel like it looks super cosy in this house I just I really love it it's super 
duper nice. Um, where should I take you next? Oh, there's this little bit here. I forgot about this. Um, so in this little like weird room that they had, I decided to turn it into just like a, a little office. So I moved the um, the desk here with the chair. And oh no, I changed the chair. So I changed the chair. I don't like the desk chair. And I added a computer and some bits and bobs on the table. And I think this is a nice little office area here. And then it just leads into the garage, which I didn't really do anything in. I just changed the lights and repainted it. And it looks okay. I didn't know what. I didn't really want to add anything to the garage, I don't feel like it's a big part of the house. But let's go through to the other side now, which is where I've done the most renovating. I've really changed this part of the house, like, completely. So, as you can, you might remember before, at the start of the video, you probably skipped to here, to be honest, so you probably will remember. Um, this whole area here was a living room, and it's a really big living room that, like, just was basically empty there was like nothing in it um so i decided i wanted to actually make this into a family home because this house is called the classic family home however there was only one bedroom in it so i wanted to add more bedrooms we now have three bedrooms in here we have a family bathroom before we only had like the ensuite in that bedroom uh, and we have an ensuite in the master bedroom so i feel like i've really worked well with this space and i feel like I've really made a difference like this house looks completely different to what it did before um, so we'll start here which is the family bathroom and I love this bathroom um, it's just so pretty I wanted to use this sink more so I have used it and I just feel like it looks super classy in here like it's a really nice color scheme and this picture as well goes super nice with like this goldy color like oh, I really like this bathroom it's probably one of the favorite bathrooms I've ever done I usually do my bathrooms like a blue theme so to try a different theme for them was really fun and I really love how it's turned out um, so let me show you the next room which is a children's bedroom so this is like a little kids room and I think it turned out really cute as well look at this oh this decal here um, is by a youtuber I, I can't remember his username it's something like noel ratty or something like that i'm gonna link her down below as well so you can check out i don't know if it's her actually so you can check out their channel and um they've got all the decals linked on there in the descriptions of the videos and they're super nice they make some amazing decals um i just really love this room i really love this um giraffe print actually i don't think i've ever used giraffe print before but now I'm definitely going to be using it more especially this gold color it looks super like nice and i love how it goes with the curtains i just think this is such a cute little blush colored kids room it just looks super adorable um next we have the teenagers bedroom so it's like an older kids bedroom and i love this room this is possibly my favorite one um i was trying to close the door there not sit on the desk but I've added a desk here well I've added this whole room to be honest so all of this furniture I've added um, but this is the little teenager's bedroom and I just feel like it looks super duper cute I'm super happy with how it's turned out in the end it's just super nice I have some like polaroids about and some really pretty pictures and it's just a really nice little room so I'm definitely happy with this and then finally we have the master bedroom and ensuite in here which I'm really happy with again I tried to do something different with it so I've done like this kind of wall separating with uh, windows in it and I really like how this looks actually um, I'm glad I came up with that idea I think it looks super duper nice but this is the parents bedroom or the adults bedroom and I just feel like it looks really nice it turned out so much nicer than I even thought it would I'm just so happy with this whole entire build and then here we have the ensuite bathroom for the parent or whoever's room that is um yeah i just feel like this is a super nice little cute blush house i just i love this i feel like i did not to toot my own horn or anything guys but i feel like i did a good job of building this especially this room this room is just pretty there's going to be lots of pictures of this on my instagram that are going to be way nicer to look at than me just kind of zooming around the house um but let me know what you think with this house guys do you love the color scheme or do you not like it comment down below with any future video ideas and a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah.